At the same time, government troops have been sighted near the guerrilla headquarters. The government has given the local people an ultimatum. Either they join the Al Samasa or their villages will be attacked. The revolutionaries decide to strike first. Plans are laid and bombs are made. Gorilla foot soldiers are not told the exact target of an attack until a few hours before they move out. Hammock, rope, and rain curtain. Ration of dried fish, five kilos of rice, and a landmine bomb equals a 22 kilo pack, not including an M16 rifle. Poloi packs his radio. He pulls his antenna down from a tree, shutting off all contact with headquarters until the attack is over. The unit first digs holes for the landmines and then fox holes for themselves. Advance reports from the local people have told them to expect a foot patrol, maybe more. We wait. It's not a foot patrol. It's a full company of 60 government soldiers. The information was terribly wrong. We run. Okay, column three. Poloi killed by enemy blocking force. Papa Delta. Poloi. The radio operator is shot through the chest protecting our film crew. Forced to retreat up an impossible hill, we leave him behind. Three other comrades separated from main force. No contact until now, Papa Delta. Column five. One comrade wounded, Papa Delta. Column six. Company resting Oki. 
but morale is low. Papa Delta. Paloy is dead.